Hi, Courtney Robinson here today to talk to you about my side hustle, which is our Airbnb. I want to give you some stats today. I want to tell you how we became Airbnb owners. It really wasn't intentional. Um, and how it is looking like it's going to be part of our retirement plan and what we're going to do from here. So if you like this kind of material, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps the channel. I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit. I don't do this for a side hustle yet. It is just kind of therapy for me. And to be honest, I started this channel to help my students who as a yoga therapist, and that's why you'll see some yoga therapy content on this channel. And so that my information, especially financial information and frugal information would be here in um, forever for my children. <laughs> I have, we have six adult children, six, five of them are in their twenties. And I wanted to share this information with them long after I'm not here anymore or at any point where they feel like they want to learn. So we built this little cabin I'm sitting in. It's 420 square feet about two and a half years ago when we sold my house in town. We had gotten married in 2018. My house sold in 2018. We had $30,000 in equity and we, we have a son. Our youngest son has autism and we built it for him. At that time, he was going to school for uh, a children or adult child, adults with disabilities. He was like 18 or 9, let's see. He's 24 now, so he was 20. And during that time, he really blossomed and he was able to learn to drive and learn to live on his own. And he got in a program that helped pay for part of his housing, but it would not pay for housing that family owned. And so it was silly but I guess down the line, somebody abused that. So his family could not benefit from his housing voucher. So we have this house here and we had to do something with it. Um, we wanted to get some money back on our investment in it. And so we decided to Airbnb it. We did not build it with a dishwasher, a washer and dryer, or a disposal. It was supposed to have a disposal. That just got over, that was an oversight. Um, we are this summer or this year as we make more profit. We are going to add a washer and dryer I'm going to give you a tour here in a minute to the best of my ability holding a camera. I know it's not ideal. So 420 square feet. We owned the property. We have a 40 acre ranch There was a trailer here before and we had the trailer moved when we bought the property We have a septic tank on the property so we did not have to put that in, but that's generally can be three to four thousand dollars. And there was an electrical pole outside to tie into electric. We had all of that tested, it worked. So the trailer that we had on the property, um, we could have done something cool with it, but we decided to get rid of it because it needed so much work and it had serious mold, and I have really severe mold allergies. Um, so I think we made 2000 off the sale of that. But I wanted to tell you how much we make and what we do. So we opened in January of 2020, which we all know what happened in March of 2020, the pandemic, pandemic hit. And we kept it open part-time, closing a couple of times when I, um, my husband and I caught COVID. We caught COVID pre-vaccine and post-vaccine. And I ended up with long COVID. And at that time, my son was doing research. He was in graduate school in Washington, D.C. And he was doing research. And that program he was working for got closed down. And there was all that political drama. And we just, and he lived right by the White House. We just said, come home. Come home. We'll figure it out. So he lived here off and on up until um, late 2021 when he decided to go to Colorado to get his master's go to graduate school there so that's where we are with all of that we for the first year we Airbnb and beat it out temporarily when he wasn't living here and we were averaging about 800 to 1100 dollars a month and that was pretty much having one night option and one night in between that was a lot to keep up with and with having long COVID, I just couldn't do it. So after the first year and we got our super host rating, the five star rating, I changed it to two knot minimum with a two knots blocking off before and after to give me time to clean it. I do have a lady who helps me sometimes, but it's not enough. But I recently went part time 
So I'm changing that back to stay at the two night option with one night before and one night after is automatically blocked off for time to clean, but not as much time. So because we're debt free and we recently paid our house off, being able to go part time is a blessing. And having this on the property, I've kind of realized that like this being a supplemental income in our retirement, we can close it down for a month if we want to travel. It's really a good thing. So, and we've had really good luck with guests. We've only had one, a couple of guests that were minor problems, but nothing serious. And I know that that can always happen, but I'm really strict with my screening as well. And so we have, um, it's $109 a night with a two night minimum and a $50 cleaning fee. What we see on average is people booking two to three nights. It's about 50-50 on that. Um, so it's not uncommon. And right now we're getting about 10 nights a month but that's because of me, because I mark it off so much. I feel like 10 nights is very doable. Like I like that, two two night stays and two three night stays. Obviously I can't predict that, but if we got five a month, that would be great. If we were getting 12 to 13 nights a week, I um, mean a month, having somewhere between, you know, 800 and $1,100, that we have a month minus the expenses. Now I will say, and I'll show you here in a minute, I put a lot of money back into the Airbnb. Um, we do have a five-star rating. I have traveled and stayed at a lot of Airbnbs and therefore I knew, and I'm really picky. So like today my sheets were washed, but they had like some lint or something all over them. I completely stripped them and washed them again. Um, I've been spot cleaning up here. I have really nice snacks and things like that. So let me give you a tour and we'll keep talking. And I apologize about the camera being shaky. I'm working on my skills. So here is the beautiful kitchen and it's a full kitchen minus a dishwasher. It has the, um, the, the refrigerator, the stove, the microwave and a double sink. It has a lot of cabinets and we have here the coffee station with coffee, tea, um, all the towels, and that, that's an old antique tray thing that I have. And down here, or also I'll show you, I have this little table with two chairs and it, the best deal I could find was at Tuesday morning. So let's walk over here a little bit. You can see kind of this area. So here I have the snacks. Um, I went today, I have tea, coffee, hot chocolate, decaf tea, decaf coffee, um, two things of instant oatmeal that take hot water, cereal and popcorn. And this may be going a little overboard. It's definitely not necessary. And people oftentimes don't eat it all. So I may accept my husband. He sneaks in here when we're closed and gets it. I have a couple of little chocolates here, some bars, cliff bars, nuts. Um, I have uh, more popcorn and two bottles of water. Over here in the fridge, what I do is I have filtered water in the fridge. Here I have some milk. I don't drink milk. I don't eat dairy or meat, but these are shelf stable so they won't go to waste. They're expensive, they're like a $7 for a six pack. But um, I figured th this is a lot better option because it doesn't go bad. And then we have uh, water and Gatorade and a couple of Pepsis and Diet 7-Up. So we don't really, I try to buy things we'll eat too, but we don't really do like drinks and stuff like that. So here's the living room, it's adorable. Um, this wonderful, beautiful, lazy boy recliner, it's kind of cool and modern. I traded a friend some furniture for it and along with the settee. And then there's a little, this was all antique store stuff, flea market finds from friends and things like that. And then you'll see the cute little, that was a, a vintage store find from a friend of mine. Um, and then the TV has Roku, Netflix, but you would have to sign into your own account except for the Netflix, I have a guest account. And here you can see what we did was we have the vaulted ceiling. And then this particular plan, I did it using another plan. I drew all the specs and everything. Um, it had a wall. 
But my son had lived in two tiny houses and he said he would prefer to have no wall because it was um, felt more spacious. And I felt like since it was gonna be for one person or guest, that no wall would be better. So we have, plus we wanted to put in this mini split to heat the whole house and that just helps with ventilation. This right here is a piece of um, stained glass that my family owned and that's it was meant to be put into an old house in the 30s and it never got put in and it's just stayed in my family. So it's a really cool piece. That window is fixed, it doesn't open. And over here, when my son was living here, he had this desk and chair from Ikea. And it's really great to have a desk and chair Plus what it does is it allows you to have your notebook with all your directions and if it's open, they can see it. There's a dresser here also from Ikea that I purchased from my son. We have a nice comfortable semi-firm bed. Um, I wash all the blankets, sheets, everything. And even the uh, pillow shams, I am absolutely OCD about that because that's what I want. And I put that in my listing. I think it's very important. I don't want to share a cover with this, someone else. I don't want you to sh change the sheets. That's gross to me. So, and then here's our cute little bathroom. Um, we have this beautiful granite and I wanted this for my house, but it was expensive, more expensive. And we only needed a little bit up here. So it was totally worth it. I think it totally sets off. It's like a pink and gray and white. These are custom made. I didn't spend a ton of money. We spent about 42,000 to 60,000. I lost track of the labor. I have $38,000 in receipts. These cute little lights up here, they have the antique light bulbs, um, but that's about what it cost us two years ago. I'm sure it would be more now. Right now, around here, our building is going for $160 a square foot. This, uh, this is second grade pine from a guy that we know around here and I put a full bathtub in here. This is a high quality Delta bathtub and faucet. I went with all, let me show you here. I went with all silver because they're kind of timeless and I didn't want to feel like I was having to update constantly. I think that's really important. Um, so I just kind of went with a timeless look that wasn't trendy, if you will. This cute little paint with numbers, this used to help be in my children's room. We have a barn door here and a full walk-in closet that doesn't look nearly as big as it is, but it's quite big actually. And one thing I think we should always have is a full length mirror, but not everybody wants to see themselves in a full length mirror. So I think having it in the closet is nice because if you're self body conscious or something and you don't want to have one, I have a friend who hates full length mirrors and I thought about her because I thought, well, this way you can look at what you're wearing, but it's not like you're not having to watch yourself constantly. We have a place for hanging clothes. I offer like there's an umbrella, there's extra blankets, there's a blow up bed if someone had a kid. Um, oh, I keep the cleaning supplies out because I know when I travel, I want to clean up after myself because I cook meals. There's a laundry basket and extra sheets, a iron ironing board, and I even have here workout stuff. So there's a yoga mat, two blocks, two weights, um, and then all the fire stuff to do a fire. I'm waiting on the florist right now to deliver, so I'm gonna try to get this done. Um, over here we have a cute little this was in my yoga studio when I owned it, and I changed the handles to these cute little, they're fake deer handles, like deer antlers, um, but I thought it was good for the farm. Oh, we also have a white noise machine because, you know, obviously. Out here is our beautiful deck, and what I did, and that may be the delivery guy, is we did these beautiful privacy fences on the decks on front and back. That way when people are sitting out here, they don't feel like they're being watched at our house. Out here is the view of our neighbor's ponds in the valley. And then we have a cushion seat over there. Our horses, they're both pregnant. That's gonna be super cute when they have babies. And so 
here we are. This is it. They have a beautiful big backyard. The front porch is similar. I'm not going to go out there because I don't want the UPS man to think that I'm like waiting on him. Um, but you can see my husband built all these, this beautiful woodwork. And a lot of this stuff, what I did was I would go on Pinterest and I would be like, here, honey, make this. And he did. So there you go. Um, if you're interested in Airbnb, you know, I don't know that I would have done it if I had to finance because I'm really debt averse and I've been in the FAR movement, financial independence movement for a long time. Um, so if you have a, a way you inherit a house or you have an extra building or something like that that you can do for cash, I definitely think it's worth it. Have not owing a mortgage on it has allowed me to be really picky and that has been essential, let me tell you, because people ask the craziest things. And like I said, most people are great, but like we don't accept pets, even though we live on a farm, because if someone's dog got out, a mule or a donkey could kick it and kill it, and also allergies, and you just don't know. A lot of people think they're, everybody thinks they have the best animal in the world, but inevitably someone's dog's going to pee or potty in the house, and we just don't want that. So it's just easier out here to let the cabin be animal free. Alrighty, well if you have any questions, just put them down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.